Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and Lyft has finally announced their fuel surcharge that they're going to be charging riders, which will go directly to drivers. Let's compare that with what Uber is offering and see if it makes much of a difference. So on the 16th, which was yesterday, Lyft announced, in my market anyway, a 55 cent surcharge for every ride that you give. Uh, they did not give a specific date when it was going to start. They simply said starting next week. So we don't have an exact start date yet. Of course, just like the Uber surcharge, this is only a temporary measure. And for now, it's a 60-day time limit on when you'll be able to receive the surcharge. In addition, Lyft is kind of talking up their partnerships with gas saving apps, which Uber has as well and DoorDash has as well. I think by now most drivers know about GetUpside and Gas Buddy and all these other type of situations where you can save money on gas. I think that with both Uber and Lyft, by combining the surcharge with messaging about, hey, you can save money this way, it makes it seem like they're doing a lot more than really they are as far as earnings for drivers. So there are two places where this surcharge doesn't apply. New York City, because they recently received an increase in pay, and Nevada. They're working on something with uh, Nevada's regulatory commission on that. Another interesting thing that Lyft has included in their messaging is that if you drive an EV, you are eligible for this surcharge too. And I think the reason they did that is because Uber already offers a dollar premium on every trip for anyone who drives an EV. So maybe this is Lyft's way of kind of compensating and competing with that offer. In addition, they have in their FAQ that on shared rides, each passenger that you pick up will add on to the surcharge. So if you have three passengers on a shared ride, you're getting $1.65 for the three of them. So it's not just, hey, you're on a shared ride and you're only going to get the $0.55 cents for the first person. You get a 55 cents for each rider. So I've already shared numbers in another video and talked about how the 55 cent surcharge, while yes, it's not the greatest, if we make smart decisions about the trips that we take, it can actually be quite beneficial if you're driving a very fuel efficient vehicle already. I drive a Prius and for 55 cents, I can drive almost five miles on that surcharge. So they're either paying me to go pick up the passenger or they could be paying for the fuel on the entire trip if the trip is under five miles. So that's it. Are you already seeing the 55 cent surcharge in your market on Lyft? I did some rides yesterday, uh, did about four of them. And I'm already seeing the surcharge uh, on Uber. So that was a nice addition to see. So feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments. Keep them respectable. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you like this video. And if you want to see content like this when it comes out, hit that subscribe button and tap that bell. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.